Hi, welcome to ACAD Systems AutoCAD Essential Online Training. By clicking this video, you already know that we are going to learn how to draw lines and rectangles by using AutoCAD. Before we begin this lesson, please download all the dataset files from the link at the description below and place them on the root of your drive. So the first part of this video is we will learn about drawing lines. Now, this is the start screen of AutoCAD software. To start this lesson, click this open icon to open the existing file which is drawing lines file that you have downloaded from the course resources before this. First of all, make sure the endpoint is enabled and the object snap is also enabled in the status bar and the rest options can remain in their current state and do not need to match the list below. The first method of drawing line that we are going to learn is the line with points. Alright, on the home tab of the ribbon, select line. Now we are already in the line command. Next, we can draw lines by clicking to any point that we want. As for this exercise, we have to click at the points provided here. The next method to draw line for the lesson is the line with angle. Choose line on the home tab of the ribbon or we could just type in L on the keyboard and take note of this head of display that occurs now because of the dynamic input enabled. Now, just click anywhere to specify the first point. Then, enter value of 3 as the distance of the line but don't straight away press enter. Press tab to move to the angle field. For the horizontal line, we need to enter 0 as the angle applied on the line. Then enter another 3 as the distance of the next line, then press tab. This time we need to enter 90 as the angle for the vertical downward line. To make the next line, the distance will also be 3 but the angle for this line will be 30. There you go, the line with angle. Next, let's move to the next method of drawing line, which is the line with coordinates. Type in L to start drawing line and straight away enter the value of coordinate for each point provided. So, for point 1, which is the first point, would be 0, 1. And then continue with point 2, which is 0, 2. Then enter 3, 0 for the point 3. Then another 0, 2 for point 4. The last point would be 3, 0. As you can see just now, the coordinates were counted from the current point that you are using. Alright, the next line for this lesson is the line with auto mode. You can enable the auto mode here in the status bar or you can just press the F8 button on the keyboard. This will make your next line always in 90 degrees straight. Alright, press L to start the new line and then just specify the first point of the line. Then move your cursor to the right. This will happen if you disable the auto mode on the status bar. And then to upward, then to another right, then downward, and finish it by moving the cursor to the right. Now the line with close option. This means you just have to use the close option rather than finding the final point that you want to close the loop. Alright, just draw a line as usual and then... For the final line, you can just press right click and from the menu, select close. Or another method, you can just type C within the drawing area and then press enter. Alright, now we are going to move to the second part of this lesson, which is to draw rectangles. Repeat the same steps as drawing lines to open the existing file, but this time choose drawing rectangles file from the link just now.
Alright, to draw a rectangle, there are two methods which are by points or by coordinates. Okay, so let's start drawing rectangle by selecting this rectangle on the home tab of this ribbon. Next, we can draw lines by points by clicking to the first point of the first corner. And then next, click the other corner of point to complete the rectangle of drawing. For the rectangle by coordinates, as for this exercise, first type in REC to start drawing rectangle and straight away enter the value of coordinates for each point provided. So for point 1, which is the first point would be 5.59 and then continue with point 2 which is the point of the other corner which is 5.53. There, the complete rectangle by coordinates. But as you can see just now, the coordinates were counted from the current point that you are using. So just now is the basic rectangle. Let's move on to another type of rectangle, which are rectangle with chamfer and rectangle with fillet. To draw rectangle with chamfer, just draw rectangle as usual by typing in REC and press enter and then at the bottom of the screen, you can see chamfer option. Click the chamfer option or you can just type in C in the drawing area and press enter. Then enter 0 0.2 as the first chamfer distance for the rectangle and then press enter and another 0 0.2 as the second chamfer distance for the rectangle and press enter. Then just click anywhere to specify the size of the rectangle. That's it. Now we are going to draw a rectangle with fillet. Same like before, type REC and press enter and then choose fillet down here or just key in F then press enter. Next, enter 0 0.3 as the fillet radius for the rectangle and press enter. Now, click anywhere within the drawing area as the point of the first corner, then do the same to the other point of second corner. So this is the rectangle with fillet. By doing all this type of rectangle, we can specify the size of the rectangle, which are by area, dimension, and rotation after specify the first corner point. Alright, let's try to specify the size of the rectangle by using area. You can see here there are options for area, dimension and rotation after we specify the first corner but now choose area first or enter A then press enter. Then enter the area of the rectangle which is 20 and press enter. Now there are two options to calculate the area which are based on length or width. Choose length to specify the distance of length instead of width. Enter 5 as the distance of the rectangle length and then press enter. Now you already have a rectangle by using area. Alright, what if we use dimension to specify the size of the rectangle? But before that, if we want to change the rectangle fillet to the basic rectangle again, we just need to select fillet here. and just re-enter the fillet as zero. And then specify the first corner point. After that, enter D and then press enter. Now, enter five as the length of the rectangle, then enter. Then next, ask us to enter the width of the rectangle so we key in four and then click anywhere within the drawing area. Next, we are going to specify the size of the rectangle by rotation. Choose rotation or enter R after specify the first corner. The first step to use rotation is by specifying the angle of rotation of the rectangle. Enter 30 as the angle applied to the rotation. Then enter a distance of 4 as the length of the rectangle and then straight away press tab to move to the other distance of 2 and then press enter. So this is the rectangle by using rotation. Alright, now we already covered drawing both lines and rectangle. So if you want to save this file, just click at the application menu and choose save as and save your file. Save your file as drawing rectangles and then save. 
Alright, thank you for joining this lesson and see you on the next video lesson.